And you make sure that your smooth side is down so that the, um, the printed side is up. Otherwise, it will, um, the, the moisture will cloud the print and you, you won't be able to use it multiple times. And it can, in fact, affect mm -hmm. the um, printed side up. Printed side up. And then a piece of paper on top, I mean, I mean a piece of glass or, or um, PVC on top. And I usually clamp also. Oh, they're nice and tight. So. so it's nice and tight, so no UVs getting up underneath. Yeah. It also helps um, hold the moisture in, and the moisture is necessary in order for the device to develop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this outside and put it on the in the sunshine. A much different color than what we started out with. Now I am pulling this about two minutes early, well, a minute and a half early, so we'll see what happens. But I think we're going to have a beautiful print. Yeah. Ah, look at that. You just have no idea, do you? So then stick that in the water because wherever you see the white, there's still dye in there. And you gotta get that dye off to of make here. A contrast. Right, you gotta get that dye off because if you don't, it's gonna go ahead and develop and then you'll end up with a beautiful piece of orange fabric mm -hmm. and no pattern. So you can see the excess dyes coming yeah. off. Yeah. I'm using orange because it's my favorite color and also because it's one of the most forgiving of these dyes in terms of rinsing and I can get away with doing a marginal rinse on it. Mm. So that's um, that's kind of it in a nutshell. How to go about doing.